You know, Backlot Coffee is a local coffee shop with locations in Evanston and Chicago that has adopted sustainable practices and uses locally sourced goods when available. Now, this month, Backlot is celebrating a couple of really special anniversaries. And here in the studio with us this morning to teach us how to make cold brew like an expert is Backlot co-owner Isaac Bloom. Thanks so much for coming in. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Good morning, Suzanne and Ed. This Hi. Is a this good, is great. <laughs> good to be here. Uh, it, nice uh, to have you to talk about your shop. You're celebrating uh, two anniversaries for the stores. Mm -hmm. And yes. what are you doing? Anything special? Um, well, there's a lot to celebrate. We're coming up on a two-year anniversary for mm -hmm. our shop in Evanston. Wonderful. And in just two months, we'll be celebrating a one-year anniversary at our second location in the old Irving Park neighborhood of Chicago. Very nice. So, you know, tell me what sets cold brew apart from other kind of coffee making? Uh, well, so cold brew is a wonderful technique mm -hmm. to remove some of the bitterness and acidity from iced coffee, boost the caffeine, increase the sweetness, mm. and make just a delicious coffee beverage. Ed, did you hear that? Boost the caffeine. I, I'm all for that. <laughs> we need and that. And the important thing, too, is that when you're doing it cold, it puts less acidity. So if somebody's bothered by the acidity of mm. coffee, it's a way to smooth it out and maybe be a little nicer on your tummy, right? That is absolutely correct. So it's really as easy as one, two, three, one. Okay. We need a vessel. Okay. Today we'll be using a two quart ball jar. Okay. Um, you need some freshly roasted coarse ground beans mm. if you want to take a little whiff of that. Oh, fabulous. Oh, smells. I there's could eat there's that. nothing better. <laughs> so we're just going to pour that so cool. right in the jar. Now, if I'm making hot coffee, I would do like maybe a 16 to 1 ratio of water to coffee. How about when you do it cold like this? So this cold brew concentrate that we're making today is one cup to two quarts of water, if you would so do water? the honors. Okay. So we're just going to pour the water right in there. Okay. Wonderful. So is it You're stronger a than Thank hot you. coffee? The, um, the way you make the... Yeah, so yeah. caffeine-wise, this is going to give you more caffeine. The entire thing, mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. way, Isaac? Yeah, so you okay. can just fill that up. And then okay. we have a ladle right there. And okay. the next step is just going to be to give it a, a healthy stir. Okay. And that's going to ensure that the coarse ground coffee beans immerse in the water mm -hmm. and uh, give it a good chance to extract flavor and caffeine overnight. Mm, so, so, so far it involves adding water. So <laughs> we're, yes. we're going to be good this. at this. This is a very easy, easy process. Um, so once you're all stirred up, mm -hmm. you're just going to cover it up mm -hmm. and you're going to put it in your fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. Now this is a cold brew concentrate, so it's going to be a stronger version mm -hmm. of cold brew mm -hmm. that we can mix into other beverages okay. and uh, not dilute that delicious coffee flavor. So, so the magic of TV, you've got one ready yes, for us? Yes, all prepared, ready to go. So I'm going to be building for you our New Orleans cold brew special. Because oh. you have different types. Tell us about some of the types that you make. We do. So this um, is the New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, it has a little bit of a house-made vanilla syrup. Mm. I'm just going to stir it up there for you. It's like vanilla sugar? Yes. Okay. And um, our delicious cold brew concentrate. And I see the vanilla bean in it too. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> so we do make it in-house. So mm -hmm. it's made out of all natural ingredients. And we're just going to top it with cream. Mm. There's really nothing more beautiful than cream I'm settling on coffee. It, with the cold coffee, <laughs> cream just works mm. so mm. well. It really know? does. It's it so really wonderful. does. Yeah. Yes, and then you are actually drinking a uh, drink with a stainless straw, which I is love part that. of our uh, green sustainable. initiative. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, so Shed the straw. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We Shed have, aquariums behind that. We've partnered with yeah. them, and we have removed mm -hmm. all uh, plastic straws from our store. This Very is nice. really good. Oh, that's good. And um, you will get to try one of our other straw alternatives. This okay. is a paper straw. So this is our cold brew tonic. So cold brew tonic makes a delicious, Ooh. refreshing summer beverage. So what's in here? This is uh, cold brew with just a little tonic water? Just a little bit of tonic, and it makes this uh, delicious, sparkling, refreshing cold brew beverage. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Isaac, he's nice. saying that where's the gin? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, cold brew actually goes really good with bourbon as well, but mm. this is a morning show, Suzanne. I know. So we got to keep that for later. Never <laughs> stopped us in the past. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Isaac, thank you so much for joining us. Nice to have oh, you here. You. And uh, for another look at how to make cold brew and information on Backlot Coffee, log on to our website, cbschicago.com, a little later on this morning. You have a lovely little shop. I was in there when I went to the eye doctor next door <laughs> yeah. and got my glasses. So great, great job, guys. Thank Everyone so go much. out and check it out.